Well, hello everyone. We are out here in Berea. It is Johnny Manziel week, and that's basically been the talk all week long, of course. Uh, today we got an opportunity to check in with Kyle Shanahan about him for the first time. And basically he says he is going to let Johnny be Johnny. You don't draft a quarterback like Johnny Manziel and try to turn him into something that he's not. So Kyle Shanahan, he has experience with this kind of a quarterback, and I think he's going to let Johnny roll. Yeah, and I think that, uh, especially early on, I think when, uh, you know, a guy that there's no real film, not a whole lot of film on him, you have to go back to your college days, I think, I think that is an advantage for Manziel, at least, I think till the end of the season at least, just let him play the way he can. Obviously, you, you do want him to try to stay in the pocket when he can, but otherwise, just this is, again, like you said, this is why they drafted him. Yeah, and you know what? I think it will evolve as they go along. But the first game, I don't think they want him thinking too much. They don't mm -hmm. want him like, too worried about, hey, I've got to do this or I've got to do that. They want to, again, unwrap the Johnny package and see mm -hmm. what they've got. So uh, it promises to be very exciting. Now, we also talked to Mike Pettin about him today, and he talked about the fact that Johnny will have a bullseye. He's a target. Guys love to get a lick in on Johnny football. Yeah, and we saw that Mary Kay in the preseason, remember, in Washington guys you know, doing the whole money signs and that's I think Johnny kind of understands that he's been through that even in college so I, I, it'll be interesting to see if that rattles him I don't think it will be no you know I, I I don't think so either he does have to keep his cool though because in that game remember he flipped the bird and he got fined twelve thousand dollars for that they wanted to right. get to him and they did he's got to keep his cool this time around we also talked to Josh Gordon today uh, for the first time since last week that was a uh, obviously a, a big uh, sort of I would I guess you would say a big drop for him at the end of that game, so we yeah. wanted to ask him about that. Uh, he also said uh, he's excited about Johnny Manziel. It's crazy, he said, to think that he wasn't playing hard enough for Brian Hoyer. Yeah, I mean, again, don't forget, we, we have to remember, this guy was just coming back. It's his third week. Sometimes you can get by maybe on adrenaline the first week. Uh, Jordan Cameron was talking about the same thing yesterday, that he, he was wobbly. I mean, it was nice to get back out there, and that was only after five weeks. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. And I, and I know that he, he, I think he's a little motivated, too, not being on the field for some third downs in that game. Right. And you know what? Uh, he's excited, too. I mean, he, he really did like Brian, but he's excited. All the receivers are about the fact that Johnny can extend the play. So just when you think the play is dead, uh, he can keep it going uh, by running around out there. Everyone has to stay live and stay on their toes, definitely. Now, in this game, the Browns, the defense has been playing great, but they might get a little boost by having Carlos Dansby back. Yeah, we talked to him just briefly today. He, he, he's very encouraged. Well, again, he was close last week but didn't get in, so, and we've seen this with Jordan Cameron, too. Mm -hmm. Guys think that they're getting close. Uh, we'll find out, but he sounded encouraged, and I know Mike Pettin said today was a big day, so he obviously, we talked to him after practice, uh, Carlos sound very encouraged, so maybe we will see him on Sunday. You know what? Everyone is considering this a huge game. These guys still feel like they're in it, even though it's a long shot right now. The vibe here is they can win out and they can still get into the playoffs, and that's really been what everybody's talking about. And that's what, you know, the, the, from, a, from a player standpoint, you have, to hold, you have to hold on to that hope. Just take one game at a time. You get this game. It's a divisional game. They have two games left within the division. Mm -hmm. So they can, in, in that part of it, they can control their destiny. Then they're just going to have to get a little bit of help. And we all know what they did to Andy Dalton 2.0 in the first meeting, and we'll have a little bit more about that for you in our Browns-Bengals preview coming up tomorrow. And that's it from Brown's Practice in Berea.